Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video, and today we're going to be talking Shut up, Skype. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, um, how Christmas songs or carols suck. Okay. Usually, oh, yeah, another thing, yeah, it's Thanksgiving hasn't happened yet, but, um, <laughs> people aren't even caring about Thanksgiving, there's all kinds of Christmas songs on, Christmas plays are coming out, it's Christmas school plays. Um, but anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is, uh, how the Christmas songs suck. So, a lot of times, here, there's three types of Christmas songs that you hear on the radio. First up, we have the one, the we have that one type with like uh that awesome the the dude with that awesome voice. I think his name's Michael something. And then we got a, uh, and then we got some old person that we've never heard of. And then third, a bunch of chimes going. Now, <laughs> technically, I'm not right, but uh, you know, Christmas songs are really not my style. Sure, people use them to get into the joy of the holiday, and, you know, they, they're great. I mean, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And she, that's actually pretty catchy. I want to sing that stuff right now, but, um, see, because that, that's a song we've been raised with since we were little, but... Because of that, nobody really wants to change it. Nobody wants a different song. Nobody wants a different Christmas song. But <sighs> there's just... I get it. If you are a singer that sings Christmas songs, uh, it's a relatively easy thing to do. There's not a lot of competition. But have you all ever thought about possibly um, just how easy... It is to make a Christmas song. I'm gonna make one up right now. Let's do this. Christmas Eve, presents are piling under the tree. The children are caroling, roaming free, smiling with joy as they wake up, pushing and shoving their parents out of bed to go to the room with the tree and rip. Oh. Boxes of joy. Yeah, I'm not sure if that sounds good, but I mean, you know, that's put that with a good singer and some instruments and some little bells in there and a couple of snaps. I can't snap. You, you sure as well got you, yourself a Christmas song. Really, the last thing I want to say before completing this video is just um. The reason I, I really, I mean, those reasons, you know, I, I could get along with it. Christmas songs are great, you know, but the reason that I just dislike them so much basically can be summed up with, how many times have you heard Frosty the Snowman? How many times have you heard Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? How many times have you heard Chestnuts? roasting over some kind of fire. It's just really overused. Every song, a lot of songs, yes, they're played over and over. I just don't believe that songs are really, um, I don't believe that Christmas songs, I think Christmas songs are the most replayed songs ever. I mean, now, surely some kind of app like SoundCloud or Spotify or something could prove me wrong, but I'm talking about the radio here, or just like, say, a school function, when they're playing, like, Christmas music or whatever holiday music, depends. A lot of holiday music is overused. And that's why I think holiday music or Christmas music sucks. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment below what you guys would like me to do next time. And if you are interested in guitar, Nerf, awesome comedy sketches, then please subscribe for more awesome content. And if you guys uh, enjoy this video, leave a like, and uh, I think I already said that, but that's okay. So, 
Anyways, I'm White Beardsley, and it is time to peace out. Make sure to subscribe as well. And uh, oh wow, that's pretty bright. And yes, I actually did legitimately make that song on Notepad. So yeah, just just thought you guys can know that.